What's up guys? My name is Michael and today we're going to talk about Captcha 121. Yes, it's finally here and now we can talk about Captcha 121's real features. So no more speculations, no more glass, sphere stuff, the real thing. All right, the first thing that I want to talk about is speed edit. And um, actually, I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to show it to you in action. And to edit this picture, I'm going to press Q on my keyboard and scroll up to increase the exposure. Next, I'm going to press and hold W and scroll up to increase contrast. Next, I'm going to press and hold A and scroll down to get down the highlights. Z is for clarity, J is for structure, and R is for saturation. One is for white balance. So as you can see, it's a lot of fun editing pictures with speed edit. And honestly, alone this feature would be enough for me to upgrade to Captcha 121 because if you're editing like a documentary, uh, you're gonna save a lot of time with this process. Next feature is dehaze. And I know a lot of you have been waiting for a dehaze tool. And especially those of you coming from Lightroom are waiting for this. And let me show you how it works. I'm gonna reset this image and drag out the dehaze tool to, to show you how it works. And I'm gonna try to increase the amount here. And as you can see, the image gets more contrast and more saturation at the same time. And of course, for this image, I would need to adjust the exposure as well and some other things, but it can give you quite a nice starting point without a lot of effort. Now, I didn't miss the dehaze tool at all and I'm probably not going to use it that much, so I'm more a fan of the speed edit than the dehaze. But which one is your favorite? <laughs> Drop a comment. But there's one more thing about the dehaze tool that you should be aware of. You have to be really careful with the amount slider. Let me show you what I mean. Um, we have an image here that is pretty difficult to expose and uh, we have a lot of dynamic range in this image and we have quite bad weather as well. So I'm going to use the dehaze tool to increase the clarity. Well, it's actually not clarity, but to, to dehaze the image. Is that right? I don't know. And as you can see, um, I would need to increase the, the amount pretty high until I get some detail back in the sky. Now the sky and the mountains look amazing, but the lower part of the image is now almost completely black. So I would need to mask that or do some other manual edits. And as you can see, the dehaze is not for every picture. So be aware of that and be aware of some artifacts that might show up if you use the tool too much. It's gonna happen. The import tool has also been improved in Captcha 121. So you can now pick and unpick individual images way better than before. And you can also import multiple folders at once and you can get very sharp and very big thumbnails in the import window, which is quite nice, but honestly, it's not the main reason why you would update from an earlier version. If you like to work with masks, you will like the new ways in which you can adjust your brushes in Capture One. There are quite some shortcuts like keyboard and mouse combinations, which help you to adjust the brush size, brush hardness and brush opacity 
way quicker than before, but they take some time to learn. So I'm not quite sure whether I like this feature or not, but yeah, it, it's good that it's there, but it's not important for me. Another new feature that I really like is the HEIF support, which means that you can now import your smartphone photos and edit them in Capture One. Now I know that you can also take JPEGs on your smartphone, but most smartphones take HEIF images by default. At least mine does it that way. And I wasn't able to import them. And honestly, the smartphone is not my main camera, but it happens that I take a lot of images on my smartphone and I want to edit them in my favorite editor. And that's not possible. Capture 121 also brings pro standard camera profiles, which are not available for every camera, but we will get there hopefully. And the main benefit of these profiles is that you can get better color accuracy and vivid colors are represented much better than before. To be honest, my camera is not supported yet, so I can't show you anything. Capture One also claims that they have increased the performance, which is nice, but to be honest, I have never had any performance issues in Capture One. So I'm quite excited to see. Capture One has also made some little tweaks to the workspace. And the reason is that a lot of people are switching to Capture One and it's sometimes a little bit overwhelming and they want to give you better access to help functions and tutorials. And for that reason, the tooltips are way better than before. And these tooltips now give you access to video tutorials as well. So nice update there as well. And that's pretty much all there is to say about Capture 121. For sure, I'm gonna make some videos in which I will show you the new features in more detail. Let me know which features you like most. And please also do leave a comment if these features will make you get an update to Capture 121. Stay healthy and stay creative. See you soon, guys. Thanks for watching.